Good day. Gold has been dull today and uh, I'm going to uh, look at it what are possible things. First of all in my previous analysis we were expecting for the prices to find support uh, around that level. We were considering this as A, B and C a flat correction and then this as a zigzag correction and then considering this as another flat correction expecting for support to come around that area and then we have seen prices jump up but the price action is giving me some hints that it there is a quite a possibility that our uh, labeling for the small waves is probably not right so I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and I'm basically going with the flow that we are supposed to complete a correction and the correction pattern I said we are completely considering as a double three first a flat correction and then a zigzag correction and another flat correction would kill keep the prices on a side wave price up behavior however the small time frame analysis and the support and resistance study is telling me something different we are definitely going to look into large time frame analysis but first of all uh, what has given me uh, some warning sign here is this previous uh, bottom right right over here just an on a previous swing that we can see that prices uh, went up and we considering this as a zigzag and then you considering this as a flat correction and right now prices are finding uh, resistance in that area so that has come made me uh, uh, really think the, the, the correction uh, labeling and I'm right now considering that could there be a possibility that the X is probably uh, ended right over here let me see if I can squeeze that in and then bring it right over here that it looks to me right now that X actually ended right over here instead of being right over here so that gives us a single zigzag a correction another zigzag a double zigzag basically as an X and right now you're looking at Y uh, which part of it is complete and we are still uh, going to see the completion of it uh, and the whole reason is that this support is is very very important we can see now that prices came down and then we have seen swing coming over and then prices coming down and retesting the previous uh, support area and now coming back in action this looks uh, more possible right now so there is a possibility that prices could actually shoot over and that would actually mean that our correction is complete um, there is a couple of possibility and and for that uh, there is certainly a possibility I'll wait for more price action to come that but right now as I said it looks more promising that prices have come down we have seen a correction and then we are going to see another leg coming down I'm going to uh, draw the uh, Fibonacci tool actually it's not Fibonacci tool it's percentage tool that I uh, I tend to use more than Fibonacci tool so I'm considering this as a f uh, as a five wave structure or as an impulsive move and I'm considering this whole price movement as an corrective move and this is what I'm considering right now when prices came down we have found uh, the initial support uh, the, su the resistance coming at the support coming at 50 percent and when it jumped off we can see that the resistance is coming at the 25 percent of this one uh, so this is also giving some hint that there's a possibility that prices have come down jumped up and then we are gonna see uh, prices come down in a much uh, slower pace in a much messier pace the first target is going to be 1775 and then the other target is quick to be 1766 or 1768 area before actually we can actually go for that area I need to look on my left and here we can see there is some sort of price action prices went up uh, went came down and then we have seen prices to go up and could there be possibility that we are coming all the way back right over here to test, test this area so that's why I've given two support areas 62.5 percent and 75 percent uh, of the the impulsive move uh, I'm gonna zoom in on a 15 minute chart and we'll be see s able to see some more clear patterns on a smaller time frame and in an attempt to see are we actually right in our analysis and I'm considering right now if you look at it and although we have seen the prices gone up they look very much less of impulsive price action Starting from this top, we can consider this as an A and a B and a C, uh, so a flat correction. Another A, a B, and C, another flat correction, and then the we can possibly see single zigzag uh, correction. And could we see another zigzag upward on a smaller time frame? There's a possibility. 
but this support is a very important which is eighteen hundred dollars is very very important so eighteen hundred dollars seems to be pivotal right now uh, is psychological level as well uh, and it looks to me that right now the market has uh, dropped below eighteen hundred found a support at eighteen hundred and there's a high probability of the prices to come down in case we see a stronger day move that will be giving us an indication that we have uh, found the bottom right over here uh, so I wanted to bring this into action and uh, this is not exactly uh, a beautiful local uh, looking labeling uh, but it works when I consider this whole price movement as impulsive and this as corrective it is quite messy and believe me Elliott wave uh, corrections can be that measure. So we'll uh, step uh, one step ahead, uh, I mean one time frame higher and see what is actually happening on a higher time frame, okay? So anyway, anyone with a small time frame, uh, with small trading experience can now say uh, that either this pattern is accumulation or is a distribution I'm considering this pattern as a, a accumulation pattern giving that whenever that pattern is complete uh, we are going to go up so I'm bullish on gold uh, and a couple of uh, points that I wanted to uh, give in uh, as uh, as far as this structure is concerned I'm considering this as uh, as a triangle but once again with Elliott wave analysis you can actually the rules are not as rigid uh, different people can see different things that's how it is but one thing we cannot def we can definitely agree that these highs first of all we have seen one high over here of importance this is another high a lower high and even even lower high along that line I have uh, used this trend line this is very very important trend line because we have one two three four and five highs lying on that trend line so that trend line is very very important as far as the bottoms are concerned right now we have seen one two three four and five bottoms right over here once again one two three four and five bottoms so I'm expecting that these bottoms will hold and whatever either the wave E is complete or not uh, these bottles these bottoms are very very important and I'm expecting that they're gonna hold I'm also assuming that we have probably completed wave E of the triangle and the way the price has gone up uh, giving us an indication that we probably have already started the um, the first price movement wave 1 and wave 2 and then we'll go up another point that can be uh, said is that is there a possibility that we have only seen first zigzag um, or first part of the E wave E and this is only wave 1 A B and C a zigzag and then we have wave 1 a deeper wave 2 and a stronger wave 3 to go further down uh, this is could be one of the alternating counts um, but I've done some other I'm looking at some other pairs and I'm seeing some patterns which are giving me an indication that we uh, possibly are more bullish on gold and there is a high probability that we have probably completed a bottom right over here however I will still not 100% bet on it and we will still keep an eye on whether prices are going to go beyond this point and create a bottom somewhere right over here too. Uh, one thing to be sure is definitely we are very very close to the uh, to the accumulation um, phase, ending of accumulation phase and as soon as that is complete uh, we are going to go high. If you want to be a little more uh, careful then I think it's a better idea to wait for the break of this one. Uh, the price section that has actually stated uh, on this initially I thought that we'll see a 50% support and the price will skyrocket uh, that is not the case the smaller time frame analysis is giving an indication and that would mean if a deeper let's say I'm right that this is wave 1 and wave 2 so a deeper wave 2 would indicate that we are not going to see some explosive uh, price action in gold it's rather going to be a, a slow price movement and I can give you an example of a slow price movement which is trending upward give me a moment and I'll uh, bring it to your focus so this right over here we can see that the prices have actually gonna go up 
but the price action is not really explosive. It's a uh, price went up. We have uh, seen a deeper correction, uh, and then went up again, and we have seen a deeper correction, and then we have kind of seen get into the flow of the trend. Uh, so I think more price action is going to be more likely to do this way, especially with the deeper price action, deeper corrections. You know, this is what I'm right now considering in gold. I'm considering that we are still. Uh, in the middle of the correction, uh, we are very close to the completion of the correction, uh, and as soon as gives us uh, some chance, uh, then this support level, which is actually the mm, the left shoulder of uh, head and shoulder pattern, is going to be. It looks like is very very important, and that find area once again, gentlemen, is ladies and gentlemen, is around 1765-1766 area. At that point, there is possible a lot of time that uh, the large time. Uh, the large trading partners they would actually see that a lot of buying is going to come at this shoulder point So just do not keep a focus on this shoulder point There's a possibility in that this would be short the target would be short of this point and that happens from time to time uh, so we can say that we can use one by eighth of the price movement as right over here and this is actually I'm uh, copying GAN actually I read I was reading his course and then that's what I have found and he said always do not always trust on the on the target because a lot of people are keeping an eye on that target and it looks to me that there is a possibility that we might find uh, the price reversal around that area too so we have two areas one of this area and one of this area for next uh, couple of days and then we should be going uh, slowly slowly up in in, in gold Wish you good luck with your trading. If you want to see some more uh, analysis on uh, forex pairs and silver as well, uh, that would include uh, dollar, not dollar index itself, but actually euro, British pound, Canadian dollar, uh, silver. Uh, you can head back to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. Um, there is a monthly subscription, which is 99 US dollars uh, per month. And I would appreciate if you are going to be a buyer. Wish you good luck with your uh, with your future trading. Have a good one and bye bye.